Hey there, it's Jeffrey Douglas, SDE Rover, and today I wanted to take a couple minutes to go over the highlights of Gaia GPS and why you might want to consider it your off-road map solution for overlanding. And I'm going to select the plus at the bottom, and I'm going to select a selection area, and it's as easy now as drawing the area that I would like to download. And once you get, um, get what you want, you're going to go save. And then you want to select the maps that you want to use. One of my favorite maps is the Gaia Overlanding. And now you've got that downloaded onto your device. So number two is all of the maps, including my favorite. Uh, they're broke down up here, hiking, overlanding, biking, and weather. And here are all the routes that I've saved and also waypoints and potential campsites. The other benefit to Guide GPS is if you're out and about and you want to record a route, uh, so you want to make sure that you're tracking that and you can get back, you can also record a route. So the next thing that's handy is when you're out exploring or on an adventure and you find a campsite or a waypoint that you want to remember, and if you click here, it will open up um, the GPS coordinates. You can also upload a picture of the area. One big advantage of Guide GPS is the ability to mark routes on your desktop or laptop and sync them over to your mobile devices. So what you need to do to do a route is you click over to Route. And uh, we're going to go up here and we're going to click at the intersection of S22. And then we're going to just go down this line and we can our work our way down to the turn off. And we're going to go over here. And here's a little bit of a tricky turn off without the map. And you're going to indicate here and there. And then if you want to do out and back, um, you can do that. You just set up out and back. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, like and subscribe, and remember, get outside.